Now the Russian occupiers are looking for weak spots of the Ukrainian defenders to concentrate their forces. This was reported by the Ukrainian officer of the 59th Separate Motorized Infantry Brigade named after Yakov Hanziuk, Sergei Tsekhotsky. According to him, the Pokrovsko and Kurakovsko directions are the hottest. But we shouldn't reduce our attention to other areas. Because the enemy is cunning and always looks for weak spots to concentrate their forces. Last Saturday and Sunday, after long infantry assaults, there were powerful attacks using equipment in the Pokrovsk direction. Over these two days, about 39 units of equipment were destroyed and damaged and 206 occupiers were eliminated. We see the result, the enemy has not made any major advances, Tsekhotsky explained on the Espresso TV channel. He also reported that over the past 24 hours there have been no assault actions by the enemy in the Pokrovsky direction. Thanks to our unmanned systems flight masters, we managed to destroy T-72 and BMP-2 tanks. Despite the fact that the enemy did not conduct any assault offensive actions today, we continue to operate successfully. During these 24 hours, the defense forces destroyed many Russian command posts and equipment behind enemy lines. The skill of our fighters and their morale are always at a high level, especially when there are the necessary means to fight the enemy," added Tsekhotsky. Defense forces of Ukraine struck a Russian invader's training ground in temporarily occupied Luhansk. According to the Russian Telegram channel, Spy Dossier, which is linked to the special services, the Ukrainian armed forces struck a rear training ground on Saturday, July 27. Servicemen from the 228th Motorized Rifle Regiment of the 90th Tank Division of the Russian Armed Forces were stationed there. The servicemen were conducting a formation before being sent to reinforce the forward positions of the 228th Motorized Rifle Regiment in the area of the settlement of Cayman. The strike was carried out using Atakms type ballistic missiles, the channel writes. According to the channel's authors, as of Saturday evening, Russian losses amounted to 19 dead, 71 wounded. Ukrainian troops usually only use the Atakms missiles which come from American stocks, against high-value targets. It is possible that the cluster of troops near Luhansk had previously been detected by a reconnaissance drone.